There's Nicole. So this video is actually kind of pretty late because it is the third day of April and I'm supposed to probably have this out the first day of April, so April Fool's, or like the last Friday or Sunday of March. But I didn't because and um, I had to have a video out before this video, but we're going to do this march wrap-up video so last month i have read a total of five books as you can see and i'm gonna give y'all my honest opinion and what i rate them on goodreads i remember rating each and every book on goodreads about five to four to five stars if i'm not mistaken so yeah i'm gonna like let y'all know for each book and i'm going to be honest with these books of course if you want to purchase these books i have the link of every book from amazon down in the description box down below in my goodreads profile if you want to be friends on there will also be in the description box down below plus with all my other social medias but let's just get into this march wrap up besties but before i start today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get to 1,000 subscribers and just know i'm having more book content out i was going to do a 24 hour challenge but i think i'm gonna do that for this month or record it this month and post it in may but i do have a reading vlog coming out which i just finished recording we're not going to talk about why that took me about three weeks to record i kind of explained that in that video but we're going to get into each book that i read and yeah but before i start today's video again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and like i said these are my opinions based on how i felt when i read the book your opinions your ratings on what you gave on each book might be different but these are my opinions and also if you have any book recommendations that you want me to read please put them down in the comments down below and yeah like let me know but uh i don't know what i was about to say but let's just get into this video besties and again one more time and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let's just start with the march wrap up okay besties so before i start explaining each book two books i did finish today but i'm adding it to march just because i was planning to finish them in march but i just had so much going on so yeah and i was like i'm not waiting to the last week of april to do that because i need to return most of these books to the library and one i did start in february but finished in march so let's just put that out there and i'll let you know which books they are so yeah but let's just get into the pile. So the first book that I read, or the first book I picked up, I didn't like, this is actually the first book I finished in this month. But the book is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. So if you have read this book, you know it's part of a series called The Good Girl Guide to Murder. Well, A Good Girl Guide to Murder. And let me tell you, I have heard mixed opinions about this book. People say they like it, some people say they don't like it. In my opinion, I like it because I actually love murder novels that like just get you on your feet and just be like, like, oh my gosh, this is happening, this and that, da da da. So this book I actually like. Like I said, a lot of people had mixed opinions based on this book, but I gave this book a four out of five star ratings on goodreads just because it it had me not want to finish it at first because like i just was not in the mood of reading and i feel like march was me still in a slump and not in the mood of reading but i did finish this book and i actually loved it and i truly love this whole series if i think of this whole series a whole rating out of 10 i will give this series a 8.5 out of 10 just because i really love this series i really love each book the first book of the series i gave a 5 out of 5 on goodreads so five stars but 
I really love this series and I do recommend reading A Good Girl Guide to Murder series, not just the first book. I feel like each book connects to each other and it like it always go with each other because it's still talking about what happened in the first book and the So I really love this book and I love the series so overall I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars and I recommend everyone to read this book especially if you love a murder like books like murder novel true crime stuff this is a true crime even though it's a novel and it's, and it's fake as well so it's fiction but it is still true crime it's still like murder not murder what it's still murder mystery and it will get you off your feet it will have you gasp so many times like i said all of the books that i read each and every book in this series i gasped so much and i was like oh my gosh i gotta stop and put it like you know put it down and all that so i recommend reading this book i love this book and you will like it too but this is the first book that i read in this month and finish so yeah okay besties so this is the second book i just picked up i'm just going like based on my pile but this is the second book that i read in the month of march actually technically the third but i'm not really going in order on when i read them but this book brutal prince is it's it's giving like giving a lot it's like giving a lot and i love this book i really love this book it's about a mafia and an arranged marriage it's giving match made from hell um it's giving enemies to lovers like i actually discovered this book on tiktok and i'm glad that tiktok came up on my for you page because I I really love this book and I was gonna start the second book but because I have so much books that I need to read and return to the library I probably won't get to those books until late April early August so late this month early August not August early May and add those to either my May books or June books so just know yeah but this is part of a series um, I forgot what was the series called. Let me, like, I can, like, let you know what this series is called. So, it is called Brutal Bright, right? No. Brutal Birthright. Not Bright, but Brutal Birthright series. And it, I gave this a five-star rating. This book, it's, like, they're from, like, rival families because, uh, like I said, it's a mafia but they had to like be arranged marriage and w just looking through the other books they all go together with the characters coming from like the same family from this side and that side so i can't wait to read the other books and it got pictures it got pictures i actually kind of showed i think the pictures in my reading vlog so stay tuned for that because i showed them but they got pictures and the pictures <sighs> I'm gonna let you know if you want to know where in a book these spice like these are spicy pictures by the way okay but if you want to know where in a book when you can like find these pictures and be like oh my gosh and like it's like the pictures basically going on the details on what the words are saying like write this down and I will have the page numbers in the description box down below and on the screen but the first like hot spicy type picture is on page 102 so 102 and then the second spicy picture is on page 134 so 102 and 134 i will have those on the screen somewhere and in the description box down below and i got this off of amazon but i really love this book i give it a five star rating like i said and I'm just like, <laughs> damn, like, it really got me like, oh my gosh. And the fact that she actually tries to kill him because he's allergic to strawberries, 
it's like it's really giving lovers like enemies to lovers for real for real so i'm not trying to get like away like a lot of spoilers but like that's what the strawberry means because the guy is allergic to strawberries and like she kissed him and yeah so yeah that's like she tried to kill him and he tried to kill her it's just like it's good and this like the author has like a playlist so for like each book in this series has a playlist that you can like find and listen to while reading the book and there's like one song i like uh you don't owe me by say grace that's a good song um they have songs like midnight sky by my cyrus so it literally has a QR code that you can scan and like when you're reading the book you can like listen to the playlist but yeah I gave this a five star rating on Goodreads and I really really love it so yeah let's just get into the next book so besties my acne is like bothering me so much like recently it's just yeah but let's just get into the next book so okay so the next book that I read in March is a light lark and I was so actually happy that my library actually had this book they don't have the second one will I order the second one and read it hell yeah but this book is like popular on TikTok <clears throat> and I was like I'm gonna read it I'm gonna get it and read it and I actually love this book I love the author i love her writing style and i follow the author both on instagram and tiktok but i really love this book i gave it a four star rating on goodreads and it had a lot of like gas like not gas what the heck like gas moments to the point i had to stop reading and to just rekindle everything i just read and to just have everything be like oh my gosh this just happened so I really like this book I don't know why this book is getting like a lot of hate on TikTok probably because the author is promoting it a lot if you're an author of course you need to promote something it's like if you're an entrepreneur or a content creator you have to promote your product and I really like I, said, I really love her writing style and I like it really when I saw her TikTok and this and like how she like show process of writing that really kind of like made me motivated to start writing again and to write my novels and I'm soon when I'm done with two chapters I'm letting people a group of select people like read my book like the first two chapters to give me like what I need to change this and that but I'm so glad that I read this book I am planning to get the second book and I know she is writing another book I think the third book of this series like I said I do follow her on social media so I cannot wait to read the second and once the third one or whatever books that she's writing at the moment is out I'm I can't wait to read it but I gave this book a four star rating on Goodreads and I really like it so much so yeah so this is the fourth book this is the book I actually finished today and this book I also finished today but I actually remember the ratings that I gave this book so uh yeah so the Atlas 6 is a pretty lengthy book it's like 300 or something words not words pages almost 400 like 370 pages but the reason why I say it's lengthy just because on how small the words are on each page and I was so overwhelmed on how small the print was i was like oh my gosh so um yeah i'm reading the second book today about 100 to 150 maybe 200 pages but i gave this book a four star rating on goodreads and i really like it it was a slow read at first to the point i have to stop reading this to switch with the next book that i'm going to tell y'all about but i really like this book and i had to like check this book out again so um, I'm returning this book tomorrow. I have to do content for Lemon A and for TikTok slash Instagram for it. But I really love this book and yeah, so 
that is that so i gave this book a four star rating and this is like a popular book so i was so glad that i saw it in my library and i had to check it out so yeah okay bestie so this is the last book that i read in this um pile i actually finished this book today because i needed to like do this video and i needed to finish these two books so the book that i just showed y'all in this book so this is the cruel prince book this is also another popular read and this is part of the bulk of the air series so i gave this book a five star rating just because i really really love this book i love the writing style i love each character and i it really it really got me like thinking like I want to write like a fantasy novel one day and that I really love how the author developed each character so yes but this is my this is this book I actually want to finish in one day but because I am a college student and I also have to do some content like edit and all that it really took me like a whole freaking month to finish but I really do like this book like I said I gave this book a five star rating and I can't wait to finish the series because I will be, I'm planning to finish this whole series. So it's like three more books in the series, the four book series this month. So I'm actually, hopefully, in my April reads, y'all will know I finished the other three books. But let's just close out this video, besties, and um, yeah. Okay, besties, so that is it for today's video. I really do hope that you liked this video. If you read any of these books, please let me know down in the comments down below. Also, the links of the books, if you want to get them yourself on Amazon, will be in the description box down below. And if you have any book recommendations, please, like, let me know because I'm always, always in the mood of reading and just reading new books, no matter what genre, actually. Besides sci-fi, I don't know if I can get into sci-fi, but thriller, murder mystery, romance, spicy romance, you name it, I will definitely read. And I really do hope that you like this video, besties. And question, what are you reading currently? So let me know down in the comments down below which book or what book are you currently reading. And if you're reading a series, are you reading the first book in the series, the last book, the third, how many books is in the series let me know what series you're reading if you are reading a series but i really hope that you like this video besties and i'll see y'all next time and remember to always go after your goals no matter what and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love you bye besties